Hello and welcome, it's Dissonance Gaming, and here's how to craft netherite armor and tools in the Minecraft 1.20 update. Things have gotten a little more challenging in this update, and netherite armor and tools are going to be a bit more difficult to make. Crafting is the easy part, so we'll take a look at that first, and then I'll show you where to find all the materials if you're looking for them in the nether. So to make a netherite armor piece or tool, first you need to craft it in diamond. For example, I have the pickaxe and a diamond chest plate here. Add those to your inventory, whichever it is that you're going to craft. After that, you'll need one netherite ingot, or one per piece that you're going to upgrade. And then finally, you'll need the smithing template. So it's really pretty simple. You just take these three items over to your smithing table here. And whichever tool you want to upgrade, drop it in. Add a netherite ingot. And add the smithing template. And you'll get the option over here. And you can do this with any piece of diamond equipment, and it will turn it into your netherite gear. Well that was easy, wasn't it? Now we're all suited up in our netherite gear. So really, the only thing that makes this difficult is getting your hands on some of these netherite ingots, and some of these new smithing templates that uh, Minecraft has added to the equation. I'm assuming, if you're here, you already have diamond equipment that you're looking to upgrade. So let's start with the netherite ingots. First off, we'll need to find some ancient debris. This can be found in the nether, mining around uh, y equals 14. I like to go down there, mine around, and you'll have the best chance of finding it. Technically, you can find this all over the nether, mining at different locations and levels, uh, but at 14, 15, you'll have the best odds of finding the most of this. It's easy enough to go down with a pickaxe and mine, just like you might mine uh, underground for diamonds. Once you have that ancient debris, you're just going to bring it up to a smelter or furnace here, drop it in, and cook it with fuel source, and it's going to give you the netherite scrap that is the next part. There we go. And I have a whole stack here, so we can continue on. After that, you just need to combine the netherite scrap with gold ingots. You can do this at a crafting table, and you're going to need four of each in any pattern and you end up with one netherite ingot. Luckily you only need one to upgrade any piece of gear or equipment. So uh, once you've got those four ancient debris you can come up and you've got enough to uh, upgrade your chest plate or your pickaxe or your sword etc. So that's all there is to getting the netherite ingots. I think the trickiest part is just going out and finding that ancient debris hiding down in the depths of the nether. Lastly, we have the new smithing templates. Let's talk about how to find those. So completely new to the process, making netherite equipment requires the new smithing template. These templates can be found within bastion remnants in the nether. You'll have to do some exploring, searching the nether for fairly large bastion remnant structures that look like this. I have night vision on right now to make it a little easier to see. These bastion remnants will be large uh, black structures around the nether, although I don't believe they spawn in the basalt biomes. And they all have different interiors to them. So once you've found one of these structures, just be ready to fight your way through. Gold will help keep the regular piglins off of you, but when you run into the piglin brutes, well, they don't really care about the gold. They do a lot, a lot of damage, so just make sure you're well equipped, and uh, I de definitely recommend some, uh, some very strong bows so you can take enemies out from afar. You're going to want to locate uh, the chests within for all sorts of loot, but especially uh, the treasure room chest, which is going to have this smithing template. Alright, so explore the nether, find a bastion, raid the bastion, and find this chest that has a smithing template available. Once you find one, you can actually copy this later. You won't need to come back and find another, so long as you don't use your last copy of it. Let's snag this, and we'll bring it home. Alright, so once you're back home with the smithing template in hand, I know it was a difficult journey, but I have some good news. Uh, you don't have to search for another uh, bastion to loot it every time, because we can make copies of this. So to make a copy of the smithing template, you're going to need two things. Uh, mostly, diamonds, and you'll need some netherrack as well. So here we are at the crafting table, and uh, we're going to set in seven diamonds, one netherrack, and the one smithing template, like so, this formation. And you'll see it will give you two. 
So we're effectively making uh, a new smithing template each time. Right, so we get two back. I can put another one in. We'll make the same formation again. And another rack, and we get two. And then we can keep doing that until you have as many smithing templates as you need. So just be very careful and be sure to not use your last smithing template. You'll also need lots of diamonds to keep making these copies. All right, there you go. Pretty straightforward. Get yourself those netherite ingots from the ancient debris, and then make sure to pick up that smithing template from one of the bastions. Be prepared, you will have to fight some tough, tough enemies in there, so uh, make sure you're all geared up for that. But once you have everything, you are all set to begin upgrading your diamond equipment to netherite. Thank you very much for joining. Don't forget the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more like this, and have a great rest of your day. Happy crafting!